The cordyceps pathogenic fungal growth seen in the game The Last of Us is a terrifying and horrific fiction based heavily on a reality not far from what we do see in the game itself. The cordyceps infection spread across the United States and the United States along with Mexico and South America as far as we know. However, the massive time jump of 20 years where the world is still in ruins and no outside help from other countries appears to have taken place leads us to believe that the whole world has been affected by the plague. But where did this mysterious disease come from? To figure this out we must first look at all the facts. The infection first spread in late 2013 during September and in the following months a large majority of the human population was either infected by the cordyceps pathogen which resulted in exponential infections as well as the deaths of many of those who were torn apart by the infected. And by the time jump we see in 2023 the sickness has ravaged the United States leaving a very small amount of humans left to claim this new world. The other inhabitants are the infected that far outnumber the remaining healthy population at an ever increasing rate. The infection causes a fungal growth into the human brain. It begins slowly and eventually phases through the surface of the skin. Eventually it will encompass the entire exterior and interior of the host body, by which time the host dies and becomes a solid fungal growth, which produces spores leading to further infections. The infection, when taking over the brain's higher functions, gains the ability to control actions and influences their motor functions, to the point where the host becomes erratic, attacking any other non-infected organisms. The infection begins in a number of ways. The host can breathe in the fungal spores, can be bitten by another infected, and in some cases, scratches can also cause infection. The first stage of infection begins with a slowly progressing growth into the brain. Unlike a zombie infection, the host is kept alive as to give the fungus a nutrient-rich feeding ground to sustain them for an extended period of time, over that of a decaying one. Stage 1. In this stage, rapid symptoms occur within a day or two. These symptoms can include hyperaggression, hyperactivity, and the loss of higher brain function and control including rational thinking and reasoning ability. Stage 1 cases are colloquially known as runners. Stage 2 can start anywhere from the first week to the first months of infection. It causes the visual cortex to become damaged. The host becomes slightly more careful during this period as their vision becomes shaky and they begin to rely on their other senses to find prey. Stage 2 infections are colloquially known as stalkers. Stage 3 encompasses a period of fungal growth around and out of the host's skull and begins between 1 to 3 years after initial infection. This growth not only can begin to cover their eyes but also attacks their visual cortex making, them, making the host blind. After this period of growth, usually the skull is entirely encased within the growth and if not, it is not far from. Generally. The only feature left after this period is the mouth and the teeth. This is obviously a smart adaptation for the fungus as it allows the host to continue to eat and feed the cordyceps further nutrients. A form of echolocation results from this blindness, allowing the creature to use sound waves to better locate their prey. They generate these sound waves from producing clicking noises from their mouths and throats and seems to be able to differentiate between infected and non-infected. Stage 3 infected are known as clickers. Long after infection, anywhere between 10 to 20 years, we will see the fungal growth move around the host's body, usually encasing the entire exterior. Stage 4 form In stage 4 we see the forming of hardened plates of armor-like structures. The exterior of the body will also begin to form pustules of spores. This stage sees the host use echolocation and have an almost impenetrable plate armor exoskeleton. 
with the ability to rip off the spore pustules from their body and throw them at non-infected. After this stage, the internal body begins to become overgrown with fungal growth and causes the final death of the host. All their internal organs and systems keeping them alive finally give way. Just prior to the host's death, they will generally be driven towards dark, damp places to die. After their death, the fungus continues to grow off the leftover organic material and will continue to push out more spores that can remain in the air indefinitely if not destroyed. Airborne infection by spores is generally only possible in an area where there are high concentrations of still spores in a closed off or underground area. From all these facts, we can begin to understand where the pathogen originated from. The cordyceps appear to be very similar to a species of the same name in real life that infect ant populations. The symptoms are almost identical with the stages and life cycle of the organism being quite similar as well. Bullet ants can become infected with a cordyceps fungus, which partially takes control of their brain function, leading them back to their colony, where they will then die within the colony and their body will begin to release spores to infect other ants. These ants will become highly aggressive towards other bullet ants in their path. We are led to believe that the Last of Us pathogen originated from this species, as in real life the species has already adapted to infect other species of insects other than that of the bullet ant. In various newspapers and articles found within the game of Last of Us, we can begin to piece together the fiction and reality into a sound explanation. The Last of Us infection was originally sourced from a crop harvest that was infected with a fungal mold that had been mutated by a viral phage. The crop originated in South America and we can piece together that this is where the cordyceps would have made the jump and mutated to be able to infect humans from insects. After the crops began shipment and being sold in America and Mexico, it was realised that the mold was causing a mysterious new plague that saw hospitals have a 300% increase in patients suffering from the afflictions caused by the plague. The FDA ordered massive recalls of the infected crop, however this was in vain due to the damage that had already been done. They discovered that this new pathogen was in fact a fungal class organism, but did not respond to any vaccination or antifungal treatments attempted. The fungus, having immunity to our medicines, and with ample new breeding ground, which was humanity, it quickly spread and infected most of the human population, devastating presumably the entire world, effectively ending human civilization as we knew it. So the best guess as to where this pathogen came from is that it is a mutated species of the fungus cordyceps, and that a virus caused a mutation to occur, allowing it to infect organisms other than the insects, such as the ants, and move on to bigger prey, humans. So if you did like this video, please leave a like, and if you want to stay up to date with everything we're going to do here on the channel, please subscribe. If you'd like to get in contact with me, you can meet me down in the comments. And that's basically it, guys, so I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.